So it starts with a really nice case. It's a five ply case, sort of a guide style. And I'll do some unlatching so I can unveil the important part, which of course is the guitar itself. So this is what I got to see when I got to the Martin factory. You can see the headstock with no logo on it. Going back, the nice little snowflake inlays and diamond inlays. And then the body itself, it's got a little bit of aging to the tone. Um, beautiful looking Adirondack spruce, VTS treated, um, theoretically back to the age of the 1930s. Um, beautiful ebony tailpiece, bone bridge, bone nut. So let's take it out of here and take a peek. So we've seen the top. It's really a beautiful guitar. And it's so light. It doesn't have a truss rod. It has a graphite bar running down the neck. So must cut a lot of weight off. In the back, you can see the Waverly tuners. And the Volute, which for some odd reason I really like. Even though it's not actually functional anymore. But it's pretty. And it requires tons of hand carving on, on their part to make it work. I had a strap button put on it so you can see the strap button there on the heel of the neck. And now to the body. This is Madagascar Rosewood. I love the grain in it. It's a little bit irregular. You can see sort of a, a knot or an eye or something in there. Some streaking and figuring. I just love the way it looks. Um, doesn't look too pretty fancy. It just looks really beautiful, really beautiful wood. If I flip it up on its side here, you can see the continuation of the Madagascar rosewood. And if I can get a picture of the back, you'll see that my end pin is actually an input jack for a K&K pickup system that I had installed. Um, no drilling out of the wood, just use a 1 8 inch jack. I, I bought a special guitar cable with a quarter inch on one end and a 1 8 on the other just for this guitar. Around the body, you can see the herringbone inlay there. It's just gorgeous. The work they did was amazing. And then the inlays around the sound hole. Again, nothing ornate and fancy, which is really my preference. I like a Martin to look kind of a little bit plain Jane, pretty in an understated way, not super glamorous, but that's just my personal taste. So anyway, that's the guitar. I'll switch a little bit here and I'll play a little bit for you. Remember it's an iPhone and an iPhone microphone, so it won't sound the greatest, but I'll do the best I can. Thanks for looking at it.